Just the Jedi we were looking for. Nice work, T3. I'm with the SIS. We've got a very special event coming up. You're on the guest list. What kind of special event? The kind the Empire won't enjoy. Details when we meet in person. See you soon. Blue Squadron approaches Korriban at maximum speed. Bombing commences on signal Auric. Wave 1 shuttle follows and secures the LZ. And then Wave 2 comes in. Perfect timing. You're actually planning an attack on Korriban? Yes. And your part in the plan is critical. This is Colonel Derek. He's in charge of the op. I'm Theron Shan, SIS. We spoke on the Hollow. Any relation to the Jedi Grand Master, Satil Shan? This is why I keep asking for a code name. We aren't here to discuss genealogy. Time is critical. Our objective is to raid the Sith Academy, specifically the databanks held inside the Dark Council chambers on the Academy's upper level. The information in those databanks could win the war. Once the first attack wave clears the landing zone, it'll be your job to go in and get them. And once we have the data, what then? You will exfiltrate immediately and rendezvous back here. My associate, Commander Jensen, will remain behind to collect secondary objectives as time allows. If we're going into the Sith Academy, we shouldn't just grab a few trinkets. We should level the place. I never expected such a ruthless plan from a Jedi. Regardless, it's not an option. There isn't time to land the necessary hardware for a full-scale demolition. We'll take what we can get. You don't need us to tell you how tough this will be. The Sith Academy is one of the most secure locations in the entire galaxy. But if we succeed, we could learn more about the Empire's moves than every SIS operation from the past decade combined. Our forces are ready. Victory for the Republic depends on you. Then I'll go immediately. May the Force be with us. Good luck. Please, you have to get us out of here. Look, I'm sorry, okay? That's not why we're here. Just... Just try to keep your heads down, all right? What's going on here? Slaves. Whole mess of them. Wish we could do something, but this op is strictly smash and grab. Pulling them out puts the whole mission in danger. If they want their freedom, let them fight for it. The battle has already started. If you don't want to be slaves, then find some weapons and join us. They aren't gonna last long out there. At least it's a chance. Come on, let's go! The greatest of all Sith are permitted to set foot in these chambers. You profane our entire history by your presence alone. Did you believe you could breach the chambers of the Dark Council and go unpunished? That you could steal our great works without challenge? Is that how you talk to all of your visitors? No wonder you're all alone in here. Witticisms are a poor weapon for this fight. No. The vision. How could the time come so soon? Of course. You are not the one who kills me. You've only cleared the way for him. I face my fate gladly, Jedi. The old man was right about me. Was he right about you, too? A member of the Dark Council could have been a valuable prisoner. Pity. The Sith seemed to recognize you, Jensen. Something about a vision. Do you know what that was all about? I'm afraid not. But the Dark Council is full of deceivers and madmen. You could have been either. Or both. Your part of the mission is done. My team will hold the Academy while I search these chambers along with a few technical specialists. Take the data and get back to Colonel Derek while the path is still clear. I will. May the Force be with you, Commander. Here's the data from the Dark Council chambers, Colonel. Congratulations. You've just succeeded in a mission many people never dared to dream was possible. We've proven that victory, true victory, is within reach. Just imagine. All of the Emperor's followers truly defeated at last. We're close now, I'm sure of it. This is a great day. I think you underestimate the tenacity of the Sith. 
This was one battle. We still have many more ahead of us. It's Typho. We need everything we've got! What are you talking about? Imperial forces just hit Typhon. ISO-5 bombing, strike teams in the Jedi Temple. They need our support now! How did this happen? If you're willing to help, we might be able to find out. Blue Squadron, complete refueling operations and launch immediately. Any Wave 1 troops not injured on Korriban, re-equip and board shuttles. Sean, you gather whatever sensor data we have and forward it to all forces. I want everyone en route in five. Move! This is too much to be a coincidence. I don't think it's wise to rush in. This is your home base being attacked, Master Jedi. You can meditate on the ramifications later. The Empire must not be allowed to capture Tython. We cannot afford to hesitate, period. I'll pull up every bit of data we've got and talk you through the whole way. Good luck. I took down a Sith on Korriban who wouldn't shut up. You don't seem to have that problem, do you? Guess not. Lord Go, the package is secured. You and your men can proceed with the additional... Uh, running a bit ahead of schedule, are we? Well, no matter. You can have your little temple back if you like. I'm done with it. You have an interesting view on the situation. You realize your attack failed, don't you? Failed? Really? All clear in here too, huh? Nice work. My men have finished securing the lower levels. Even captured a few prisoners. You didn't take any prisoners, Lieutenant. The enemy was relentless. You and your men were forced to kill them all. Understand? Understood. Guess it's all just cleanup from here. Gonna be a pretty major job, too. Anyway, like I said, the rest of the temple is clear, so you're good to head back to Colonel Derek. Until next time. Our forces are sweeping the rest of the muck off Tython as we speak, and reconstruction crews are already being prepped. This could have been much worse. Thanks to you, the enemy has only bloodied our nose and hardened our resolve. Oh, the timing of this attack. Just as we made our own assault on Korriban? Oh, it's too much to be a coincidence. It's possible the enemy's intelligence isn't the shambles we were led to believe. I'm sure the SIS will determine how this slip-up happened. Yes, we will. Even so, you've just won two critical battles for the Republic back-to-back. -back. You're a hero, and heroes deserve to be recognized. The Medal of Valor. No commendation this prestigious has ever been awarded so quickly. The Chancellor was truly impressed, as am I. Congratulations. Oh, the timing of the attacks, Colonel. And the message from that Sith Lord. We have to figure out what really happened here. We will, but you've done more than enough for one day. Now then, I've been tasked with organizing the Tython cleanup, and I want to be sure the Jedi Council knows they have our full support, if you'll excuse me. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. That was Grandmaster Satil, wasn't it? Currently acting as emissary to the Drevos League, nowhere near Tython. We aren't close, of course. Your order is pretty particular on that point. She gave you up when you were a child, then? Not that I'm complaining. You Jedi have your rules, and it turns out I don't have your talent anyway. Everything's worked out for the best. In my experience, most Jedi rules only stand in the way of getting things done. Well, then you are not like any of the other Jedi I've met. Even without the Force, I know when things don't add up. These Ops, Colonel Derek... Something's being buried here, I'm sure of it. But the real question is... Are you going to take your shiny medal and go home like Derek's hoping? Or are you ready to start digging? If you were to do some digging, where exactly would you start? I'd start by recruiting someone I could count on. Someone who'd be willing to face down the Emperor himself if it came to it. Then I'd find out everything I could about Derek and that Sith Lord you talked to. 
see if there are any connections. And then, once I found something, I'd contact my new friend and we'd get to the bottom of all this. But this is all just speaking hypothetically, of course. Of course. Been great chatting with you. We'll have to do it again sometime. See you around. Hey, I just called T3 to have him find you, and he said you were already on the way. That's some impressive timing. What are you doing here, Theron? Digging, just like I said I would. Let me show you what I've got so far. Colonel Derek commanded our strike on Korriban, supposedly to gather valuable intelligence data, none of which has been turned over to the SIS. This is the Sith you spoke to on Tython, Darth Arcus, member of the Dark Council, organizer of the attack on the Jedi Temple. You found a connection between them? Yes. They've both been paying visits to the same genetics lab in an underwater facility here on Manan. They're headed down there again as we speak. Is it some kind of medical treatment facility? Experimental research? Something else? There's no documentation for the lab's purpose, but traffic in and out is mostly freight, not passenger. Probably research, which fits my other findings. With Derek and Arcus working together, the timing of the attacks makes perfect sense. They weren't really attacks at all, they were robberies. Robberies? What do you mean? The imps hauled something out of the Jedi Temple just before you got there. A few security hollows were still working, so I got a shot of it. Derek's top guy, Commander Jensen, grabbed something similar on Corbett. I ran the images through some databases. They were pieces of ancient Rakata technology. Well, any technology that the Sith would keep under lock and key must be bad. Agreed. I'm pretty sure Derek and Arcus have brought their Rakata tech to the lab. You're gonna have to go in and figure out exactly what they're doing with it. There. I've arranged transport to get you in, but security will probably come after you with more than smiles. Don't let them slow you down. While you're searching the lab for Arcus and Derek, I'm gonna meet with one last contact. I think she might have some interesting intel for us. She? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Good luck down there. Greetings! My master compliments your impressive skill. I would like to share his appreciation for this noble rescue. This is hardly the time for embellished translations. I'm sure your master would agree. Oh dear. Please let us out of here. We beg you! <laughs> the security here is a joke. If you were bad enough to get caught, you'll just get in the way. <laughs> My esteemed master Jakaro is a specialist in discreet cargo delivery. I am his translator, C2D4, former servant of Ribbon and Queen Lena of... <laughs> yes, well. Jakaro was contracted by a Selkath geneticist, Garima, to deliver certain medical equipment, perfectly legal, to this facility. But once the delivery was made, payment was never rendered. Instead, we were imprisoned and interrogated by two very unpleasant individuals. <laughs> Colonel Derek and Darth Arcus? We were never introduced. Very rude, to be perfectly honest. After the interrogation, they told Garima to use us as fodder for some kind of experiments. I doubt Garima could do anything to make you stranger than you already are. I'm not sure how to interpret that remark. Your story checks out. Just a little digging on these two. Charges against them both for smuggling, disorderly conduct, assault. Even the droid? Yeah, why do you ask? Never mind. Or whatever they may have done, my contact has a good feeling about it. Thinks they might come in handy. Let's see if she's right. You'd better not betray us. I'll be watching you. Oh, you have nothing at all to worry about! Thank you! Are you Garima? Azigaz gato umpa volta kapi. Tane es hazigazdak. 
You need to stop what you're doing and answer my questions. As uge feda leg job as ureg viko had melt akisok. I want to know what Derek and Arcus are planning. What are you doing here? Volta sat vet ut azo negre. Akon ivolomar. Meg bis hato sad meg. Seze meles nehez volt felis merni. Oge ne kunk. Tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege iteletet. Fileness as edges, folio semisem, ugin is it key. What are you waiting for? Do it! Before he has a chance to betray us again! He's all yours, Jakaro. We're done with him. Well, that explains the dead guards. I knew I sensed someone familiar. I told you to let it go. You did your part. None of this concerns you. What is this all about, Derek? Why are you doing this? To save the galaxy. I see you killed poor Garima. It's too bad. He would have enjoyed seeing us put the first of our infinite army to work. Galaxy, the Republic, the Empire, everyone, we can't let you interfere. But the remote docking procedure isn't quite finished. You're a Sith. But not your enemy. Not today. Now, are you interested in a ride back, or would you prefer to swim? Sith or not, I won't turn down a helping hand. I do appreciate a pragmatic mind. <coughs> and there we are. Your transportation is ready. Safe travels. I put everyone at ease if you ditch the lightsaber. Is that really necessary? Surely I'm not as intimidating as you imply. If we just spend some time together, I'll bet we could come to an understanding. I'm confident we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the days to come. Lana Benico, dedicated Imperial citizen and fully armed Sith Lord. But you don't need to worry about that. Arcus manipulated her and her people, same as Derek did to us. She's already shared a lot of good intel. Based on your work in the lab, we know that Arcus and Derek are working together, manipulating both sides for some third party. They're Revanites, members of the Order of Revan, a secretive cult that's had its claws in the Empire for many years. It seems they've pierced the Republic now as well. I helped pull Revan out of the Maelstrom prison. I heard he died not too long afterward. Was that incorrect? Not as far as Lana or I know. But dead men can be even better cult leaders than live ones. We know the Revanites have highly placed moles in both the Republic and the Empire. That means we have no idea who we can really trust. Then it's up to us to stop them. <laughs> My master, the incomparable Star Captain Jakara, Is more interested in action than discussion. And this is his translator, C2D4. 
Former interpreter for her eminence, Queen Lena of Unteran. Yeah, we got that earlier. All of it. <laughs> I saw your list of known accomplices earlier. Quite impressive. Could any of them help us find where these traitors might be hiding? <coughs> Superb. Then if Theron agrees... Go ahead and get the ship prepped. I'll cover our tracks and catch up. Very well. It's been a pleasure meeting you. May the Force ever serve you. You'd better travel separately. If the Revanites put a tail on us, they won't know which to follow. If the Revanites realize their trap didn't work, won't that make things worse? I think it's better if they do see you. They'll have to alter their plans to compensate, and that's when they'll make mistakes. I better get moving. Watch your back out there. There you are. Our first few interviews with Jakaro's friends went well, believe it or not. We're going to start with some antique smugglers from the Exchange, see if the Revanites have gone for any other Rakata tech. I'm glad to see you're still in one piece. It's a good look for you. Oh, and I was starting to wonder if it was Lana you had your eyes on. The Order of Revan. <laughs> My family has even more pull than I thought. You're related to Revan? You never heard that story? Bastila Lashan, Revan's great Jedi love? The name made it all the way down to me, even if the Force didn't. Look, Revan was a wild card, and his crazy cult of followers is bound to be the same. Highly trained bravado aside, we're up against some long odds here. You sure you still want to be dragged into all this? The Revanites are a danger to the entire Republic. We can't afford to ignore them. Well, if you keep going up against impossible enemies, it's going to turn into a habit. All right. I'd better get back to Lana and Jakaro before they... do anything. I'll get in touch as soon as we get something concrete. Stay safe. All right, all right, we'll be there right away, Jakaro. Just don't tear the limbs off of anything. Or anything else. Hey, it's good that you're here. Our friends are eager to get started. Get started with what, exactly? Colonel Derek, Darth Arcus, and the Revanite friends. Since your operation on Manan, Lana's uncovered a few more Revanites who've infiltrated the Republic military. I've been slicing the traitors' communications and tracked the messages back to Derek and Arcus. They're in a hidden facility on the planet Rakata Prime. That's our target. What do we know about Rakata Prime? It's the homeworld of the ancient Rakata, hence the name. Apparently there are still a few of them there, but their society has regressed significantly. The Revanites probably picked it because it was the site of a major battle involving Revan, one of his biggest victories. The messages I've decoded. That cyborg technology you ran into on Manan was just the prototype phase. On Rakata Prime, they're in full production. They're taking pieces of the Star Forge and implanting them into their own people. The Star Forge? It was a Rakatan weapon, a giant self-sustaining factory that ran on the dark side of the Force. Revan destroyed it 300 years ago. The pieces of debris are still active, though. They self-repair and even self-replicate under the right circumstances. With that technology grafted to their bodies, the Revanites become much harder to stop. Cyborgs are not. They aren't invincible. I proved that on Manon. True enough. Jakaro's freighter should get us onto the planet's surface undetected. We'll plan our attack from there. I can't wait to see the look on Arcus and Derek's faces. Do we have a plan ready? I don't know if it's fair to describe it as a plan, necessarily. I've done a bit of scouting. The Revanites are camped in the Temple of the Ancients, an old ruin nearby. We've gotten this far without being detected. It's time for you to go in and make some noise. Disgust? It's suicide! I demand that you detach me this instant! What kind of security do the Revanites have? They've convinced some of the local Rakatan tribes to patrol the areas around the temple for them. A truly barbaric lot. The Revanites themselves are guarding the temple grounds. They're fully armed and paranoid. Wonderful. We'll be keeping an eye on things from the ship. As long as we all stay sharp, we'll get this conspiracy shut down permanently. May the Force serve you well.
Excellent work. Theron is slicing into the facility's structural plans now. It's not looking great. Your only option is to pass through the conscription center, dead ahead. The cyborgs ahead are in some kind of standby mode. They'll activate as soon as you enter the room. Be ready for a fight. Blasted sensors. Lana, could you do a quick perimeter check? I can't tell if these contacts are real or not. Right away. Alright, we don't have much time. We can't risk any of the tech in that conscription center falling into Imperial hands. Overload the console. It'll fry everything inside and kill the cyborgs before they have a chance to wake up. Better to play it safe. I'm setting the console to overload now. What was that? Is everything all right? We found a shortcut. Anything out there? No, nothing. Jakara's sensors clearly need a bit of adjustment. We wouldn't want to be misled again. Definitely not. Go ahead and keep moving. We'll stay in contact. Wait for us! <laughs> Please try to headbutt them with your own skull this time. Let's go. Your plans are finished. The conspiracy ends now. My, but we have a very high opinion of ourselves, don't we? This project would have accelerated our plans considerably. Losing it is regrettable, but it will not stop us. You've done a fair bit of damage, it's true, but the project isn't a total loss. After all, you've helpfully delivered yourselves for slaughter. I was planning on a little slaughter myself, actually. But I had a pair of lying traitors in mind. Call us whatever you want. Words are meaningless. Nothing matters but the plan. You and your simple-minded beast will have the fight you came for, Colonel. Let's get on with it. Derek and Arcus fought to their last breath. We won't be getting any information from them. Copy that. Blast it. I must agree with my master. They're far more trustworthy as corpses. I sense something. We're in danger. Multiple sensor contacts. Capital ships are dropping out of hyperspace. No IDs. One of them's coming in hot. Arcus and Derek were valuable allies in my cause. But their deaths will not delay what is coming. That voice. It's him. Revan. My infinite army could have achieved so much. But I still have other weapons in my arsenal. I helped free you from Imperial captivity. And now you're turning around and betraying the Republic? The Republic is too weak and unfocused to do what must be done. To achieve my goals, all distractions must be swept aside. My followers are legion. My ranks grow every hour as more and more people see the truth of the galaxy. The Emperor couldn't break me. Even death could not stop me. I will finish what I've started, and you will not interfere again. They're powering up weapons! Get out of there! Now! Thank <laughs> you.
They made it. I knew it. With the amount of fire Revan's ship was laying down, I wasn't optimistic. It's good to see you. <laughs> oh no, I'd nearly forgotten. Several of my internal components were still aboard. The ship is all right, isn't it? The ship is fine. Come see for yourself. There's something we need to talk about, actually. It truly is a relief to see you safe. I only wish we had more time together. I'm not going anywhere, Lana. You don't have to either. I'm afraid I do. Theron and I learned some troubling things after we escaped Rakata Prime. Jakaro took it better than I thought. You told her yet? I think it's best if you do the honors. We'll meet again soon. I'm certain of it. She's pretty confident for someone with a bounty on their head. Are the Revanites putting out bounty contracts now? Not directly, no. It's an Imperial contract for murdering Arcus. Under any other circumstances, she would have gotten a promotion for that kind of thing. They also arranged 12 separate death marks for Jakaro. That's a new record for him. And you? Disavowed rogue agent apprehend on sight. Pretty tame compared to the others. The director must have stood up for me. Why would you let the Revanites frame you? We know the charges are fake. Stand up to them. That would take time, and we can't be sure of success. Finding Revan is much more important than clearing our reputations. Besides, we still have you. The Revanites haven't been able to touch you yet. Your record is still clean. But it won't stay that way if you're seen working with us. Lana, Chikaro, D4, and I are all going off the grid. We need to stay hidden if we're going to continue our investigation. No contact, period. You're much too worried about all of this, Theron. We should be sticking together, not scattering apart. Trust me, this will all go much better if we work separately. The Revanites will be watching you, so do what you do best. Travel the galaxy, achieve impossible things, and make it hard for them to keep up. The busier you keep the Revanites, the easier it will be for the rest of us to slip through the cracks and find their leader. Being your convenient diversion had better not get me killed. After everything you've gone up against, I really doubt this will give you much trouble. All right, I better get moving. The faster we start running, the easier this will all be. Good luck to you. We'll send word as soon as we have something. And then we'll see what this Revan guy is really made of.